everybody, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. In fact, I appreciate it so much, I made something very special for you this time. It's a hamster maze. And I know that a lot of you have asked me to make something for hamsters, so here it is. Ready? Oh! oh. Look at this one. Now isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. It's a big cheese. Ho 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 big cheese. <laughs> yeah. And it's also a hamster maze. You can open it up here and uh, you know uh, and then you can um, organize your hamster maze. The hamster empty through here. Rummage around. Blah, 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 find the food. By the way, here's the food. And then Exit through the see you later sign uh, over here. Oh, this is such a gorgeous hamster make mace. And by the way, it's for all rodents as well. Mice, rats, gerbils, uh, rabbits, dogs, all kinds of rodents can also use, uh, you know, can you also use the hamster mace. <laughs> Are you ready to make it? Okay, let me show you how! <laughs> and what you need is this! A cardboard box! Yes! Some tape, cutting knife, a marker, a ruler, some brushes, even some big brushes, paint of course, filler mass, toilet rolls, glue, some clear plastic sheets and or um, old CD covers, if you can remember what this is. Ready? Okay! We'll start with the uh, cardboard box and then we cut away the end sheet and then split it up in the corners. We cut along here and this side and down this way and this side. Ah, ah. So that we can remove, yes, the end uh, sheet. Now uh, this one we will save because we're gonna need it later on. We split the box open, you know, at the at the, the sides here. So cut along the sides, ah, like that, and like this. Yeah, whoa, way, oh yeah. And um, this side, and the last one. Wonderful, then we open it up. Look, look at this now, see? It's like a jellyfish. Ooh, ooh. Enough of that uh, fun, let's get serious. We need to, you kind of open up this one like that. Then you fold in the two sides in the middle. You fold it in so that it forms a point and this becomes a triangle like this. Now we need to glue it. Well, we can actually start by adding glue on the very edge here. So like that. And then stick it on like that. But here we need to tape. So we start with a tape, you know, locking this, uh, this um, uh, together like that. Actually you go for a large piece of uh, tape and then stick it straight down like that. So it sort of holds onto here. Also on the sides here, one on the other side. Make sure that the um, triangular shape is really nice and straight all the way here, like that. And then we just turn this over and repeat the same thing on the other side. So glue, and you know what you can do? You can actually, I mean, you can tape it, yes, but you can also put something heavy on top, whatever you have that is kind of heavy, and then you wait a while for the glue to set or the glue to dry, and then you can continue working. So see you in a bit. Actually, I have a better idea. Instead of waiting for this thing to dry, I uh, can bring in <laughs> One that I made earlier that is already dry, isn't that better? Now I'm gonna show you how to cut. We need to cut off the excess cardboard so we are left with just the triangle a bit. So you can cut along here, ah, use some muscles, here we go. <laughs> and on the other side, Whee! and then you turn it over uh, like this and keep cutting. And then I 
fine uh, cut the the edge here. You see the, the still thing sticking out. So now I do the fine cutting. Then turn it over. Repeat the same thing. There. Ah, nice and smooth. Then I take off uh, the tape that I use when I I glued it. Yes. And then I check for any little holes or uh, sort of imperfections like this. You see, there's a hole here. There's a gap here. You know, that's quite normal when you deal with boxes. Always little gaps like this. Okay, so we need to uh, uh, plug them. I use a small piece of uh, cardboard and I cut some little strips. Then we can use to kind of stuff in between here. Okay, it's that long, yes. And then we need some glue. So I put glue on both sides of this little strip here. Whee! And then I stuff it inside. Nice. Then I look for any other similar holes. Yep, there is one here, there is one there. So basically I stuff it in, stuff it in, stuff it in. Okay, give me a minute and I'll be uh, ready. Now I've stuffed all the holes here, here, and even on top of here. Next, I use the glue and I go over the entire box. Any edge that I haven't glued, you know, is in, or is it something I've forgotten about? Like along the tip here, making sure that it's plenty of glue, that it's really uh, glued solid. Smear the glue over here and making sure that you know things like this is properly glued then i go like this with my finger like this now this needs to dry next we need to fill up all the cracks here with filler it's the same type of stuff that you use when you do home decoration and filling walls and stuff like that so stuff it in basically everywhere along all the edges because you know cardboard edges can be quite rough and uh, not so nice looking to make this uh, hamster maze look really beautiful we and and smooth and even and make all the little hamsters really happy uh you know we uh make sure we do a, a proper job out of uh out of uh, filling all the the cracks and stuff down here then i turn it around now using the filler is great fun you're gonna love it even on the top to see there's a little crack here we fill that too when you fill all the cracks this needs to dry hey i have an even better idea instead of waiting for this to dry why don't we just uh, bring in this one that i did earlier and is already dry as you can see here i have uh, filled all the cracks all over here i have also sanded when it's dry you need a little bit of sandpaper and you sand on top here you can sing a bit while you sand until it's really smooth oh smooth so now you have a really solid uh, sealed up triangular cardboard box that is smooth and you are ready to paint and by the way, sorry earlier that I forgot to tell you that you really need a sandpaper and a spatula. Sometimes, woohoo, you know, I forget things. I bring out some white paint and a big, a big brush this time. Yeah, 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 a big brush. You will probably need a little bit more paint that I have in here. This is just a bit to show you how to paint. So you go like this. La 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 Yeah, that's how you paint. Very simple. You know, you can do it anytime. Okay, so uh, you paint on the cardboard, you paint uh, on, the, um, on the white uh, filler mass. Basically, you paint everywhere. But what you have to do is to, you know, paint uh, one side or two sides then let the paint dry basically you don't want to paint everything all at the same time the box can get a bit soggy because the paint contains water the water goes into the cardboard making it a bit soggy that's why it's good that you paint uh, a bit 
let it dry, paint a bit again, let it dry, do you understand? Then you avoid the whole thing getting too soggy and loses its perfect uh, shape. I'm gonna let this dry now, see you in a sec. Hey, I got a great idea. How about we bring in this one that I painted earlier and it's fully, totally dry. Look at this one. This one, by the way, uh, is not just painted once, it's painted about three times. That is to get this really beautiful white uh, cover. It also serves another purpose and that is to make it strong. You see, the surface of the um, hamster maze now is really uh, you know strong because of three layers of of plastic paint acrylic paint that sort of covers the whole thing when you have come to this stage it's time to open up the box on the needle knife and a ruler a marker and then so we're going to open up here sort of as a lid 5 cm here 5 cm from the top make a mark here 5 cm 5 cm and a line across line across there same thing on the other side but not at this end so this end we won't uh, draw a line and we won't cut we will only cut the sides uh, here when i cut because this cardboard is quite thick now uh, i cut like softly once softly again Ooh. keep it straight softly again until uh, you are through the cardboard don't try to cut everything in one go because uh, that is can be quite uh, tough and also you may uh, you know um, ruin the um, the shape here a bit you cut a cleaner cut when you do it several times okay same thing on the other side okay Ready for the big moment? We're gonna open up the cheese. Whoa. And make sure you get a nice fold here. Sometimes it's good to, to put your ruler along the line that you're gonna fold up and then making sure that that, that fold folds nicely. Come on. Yeah. See, <laughs> it's a bird. Enough of that fun. We don't want to have fun here. This is serious. We're making a hamster maze here. Okay. And now we are ready for the next step. The holes. This, after all, is a cheese. We start with the two holes that, uh, you know, the, the entrance and the exit. You use a toilet roll to measure the size or and, and a ruler, of course. Start with about 7 cm here, about 3.5 cm from the bottom then we put the toilet roll here and make a circle that's the first hole then we measure about 13 cm down here and about three and a half cm up put the toilet roll here and draw a circle uh, remember that uh, this is my size box. You know, the measurements is uh, in fact all up to you. You know, according to how big your box is and how big your hamsters are. So let's uh, cut these out. For these holes I use a smaller knife because it's easier to cut around small circles with it. See now we have the entrance and the exit. And because now we know the level of the first floor, we can build the second floor and the third floor. Because this one is going to be quite a building, uh, so it's going to have three uh, floors of fun for the uh, hamster. Now we need to bring out uh, our extra uh, cardboard sheet. It's a bit big, actually. So I'm going to I'm going to cut it in uh, a little part of it here. It's uh, big enough to cover cover the. The triangular top. We're gonna cut a sheet that is just the, uh, the same size as the um, the inside of the um, uh, the cheese there. In fact, we can just go like this. Uh, yep, yeah, this is much smarter. I put it along here and I draw a line along here and here. We get a, a triangle. Yeah. 
In fact, we're gonna need two of uh, these. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, I can fit one more onto the same sheet. Always be very efficient with, uh, you know, your materials. Uh, don't waste anything unless you really must. And we cut it out again. Trangoleros! Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say in Mexico, I think. So we got two of those. That's the two floors in our um, hamster maze. Okay, let's see if they fit. They won't because they're going to be too big. So they're a little bit too big. And uh, the way we go about it is start cutting off a little bit of this side here until it actually fits. We start cutting, let's say, 1 cm. And then we check if this actually fits the size. Ah, oh, it's getting better, getting better, but it's still a bit, still a bit too big. Don't cut too much at a time, uh, so that uh, you know your triangle uh, won't all of a sudden be too small. So take it nice and easy and adjust the size to be quite perfect. And I think I need to trim off a little bit on the side here as well. Just a bit, just a bit. Okay, let's test it again. Perfect. Oh, come on out. Yep. Then we use this one to size up the other one. Oh. Two perfect, uh, perfectly sized uh, triangles. Ooh. And then let me show you the, um, the bits that we are going to make for the interior of the maze. And here they are. Let me show you. Okay, I gotta uh, move the cheese away a bit. You got this bit, you got that bit, you got uh, a couple of bits like these. Uh, this little tunnel and a top uh, floor. Let me show you how they work. Pay attention to these. We put them over here. We open up the cheese. Look at this one now. Fits beautifully in here. You see, the bits is actually made for another cheese that is slightly larger, but never mind, I can expand a bit like this. When you paint the cardboard, it changes shape. So now I gotta just push it out a bit. So now this one fits in. Then there is this one in the front. Goes in there. Yeah, quite nice. Then I have this uh, tube. Actually, sorry. Uh, <laughs> To fit it in, I put it uh, through uh, here first, like this. Then I go down, and now I can stuff it through the other hole uh, uh, down in here. So now it looks like fat. Ooh, it's quite simple in there, actually. Then we need a little uh, bridge. You see, from here to here, the hamster need to walk on something. So I got this little bridgey thingy here. Uh, goes across like that. Then it needs a staircase to get from the ground level to the first level. So uh, I put it, uh, uh, come on, uh, down in here uh, like this. And then I can, well, I can glue that on uh, later. Uh, this is just to show you. Then you have the top floor that looks like this and there's a staircase here then you see this the staircase goes inside the hole in uh in the top bit i put in it goes in there and then uh can you see that see now the hamster can go through the hole in there and up the staircase uh, to the top level that's how the interior looks like i'm gonna now show you step by step how to do it is really quite simple, much more simple than it looks. See, this is how it looks. So inside, right, you bend it down like that, you put it in like this. That's how it works. It goes through here, then takes the staircase up, comes up here and finds the, the food. Yippee! Yeah. Many parts, but your hamster will be so happy! <laughs> okay, so remember these two that we cut just uh, just now? Those are the floors, you see? Those are the floors. We make up the first floor, the second floor. We take the first floor first. Notice that this bit is the same size as this bit here. Can you see that? So we basically just cut off a piece of this one. So as you can see, it's... This size, I make a mark here, I cut that off. You see, I can't give you the exact measurements of this 
because I don't know how big your cheese is. When you know how big your cheese is, you can then make the accurate size uh, floor inside and then fit all the bits into your particular cheese. Now I'm just showing you the construction. So we have this, then we need this bit uh, and this bit. For that, we need extra cardboard. You put it like this. It's this size here. The perfect floor size is something that is comfortable for a hamster to go inside, you know, so that it's not too cramped, just comfortable about roughly about this size. You can see the size of my hand. Straight walls, straight walls. This is roughly about 10 cm. There, so we cut that out. Okay, pop that out. See how it fits, yeah, it's like that. And it's like this, ooh, nice. Now we need to make that little hole. As you can see, the hole is the size of a toilet roll, actually a little bit bigger, that's okay. So you take the toilet roll. Always good to have the toilet roll as a measure for the size. The reason why we make it a little bit bigger is so that it's easier to, to put the toilet roll uh, in and then uh, take it out again. So I cut that out. So now we have uh, this bit. Then we need this bit here. And that's exactly the same as this bit, but only shorter. I can use this to measure like this, like this. Let's try this one. Okay. So you have one bit. Yeah. It goes on uh, here. Now we need to make this hole. Beautiful. Okay, let's glue them all together. All the three bits, get the glue out. Put a bit of glue on this side here. Put this one on. Then a bit of glue in the middle. One stripe here, one stripe here. And then we put this one on. Oh, actually it's this way, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> actually it's better if this one is outside on this side then this one will fit better see now we have this hole we have that hole so it's the same this part is the same as this part can you see we have <laughs> falling apart here uh, let me stick them on again then I use a little bit of tape there now I've stuck on some tape to hold the bits together and then I remove the tape uh, when the glue is dry. You see, now we have this module, same as this module. Now we need to make this top bit. So let's study how this is made. We'll take a sheet that is the same width as this. So I bring back my cardboard sheet. This measures uh, 10 cm, 10 cm. There. It's this uh, wide. Then I will need an extra cardboard sheet. This one is uh, 10 cm wide. 10 cm, 10 cm, straight line. I cut that off. Right, so we now need to fold it. I can start here. I make a mark right there. You got this bit and the next bit. Let me mark it. I fold it as straight as possible. I mark it again, it's this long. Basically it needs to be equal length, so <laughs> even better. Nine and a half, nine and a half, then I cut. There, so we have now the top bit here. Yeah, it's the same. Actually it's a bit taller. Look like I goofed on the measurement here. I need to um, cut it down just a little bit. Perfect. Now you see there's a hole here, there's a hole here. That means, hey, there will be a hole here and here. Back with the old toilet roll. All the holes are kind of toilet roll sized. Only a tiny bit bigger. Yeah. Then there is a wall at the back. It's a wall here with a big uh, opening for the staircase. So now we need to make that. So I bring back my cardboard sheet let's see how big it needs to be 
here, here, and here. Cut that out. Yay! Okay, so fits on here very nicely. But as you can see, there is an opening there, so we better cut that out first. Draw a bit first. Like that. Cut that out. Glue that on. I'm gonna have a few bits of tapes ready so that I can quickly stick them on when I have glued. So there, adjusting here, adjusting this side and stick one on. When the glue is dry, I can remove uh, the tape bits. So now we have an identical module for the top bit here. So let's see how it fits with the one we made uh, earlier. So you now have this part, this part, and this part. That's what it looks like from this side and from that side. We also need to uh, glue them together. I'm going to loosen a bit on the tape just so that I can glue it. Glue underneath here. On it goes in the middle. Later we'll uh, paint this. As you can see this one is painted white on the top here. Uh, we'll do that later. Let's make the next bit. Next is this bit. Well, without the tube, we do that later. Uh, next is this bit. Then we bring back this one. Remember we cut that one off when we made the other uh, module just now. Now we want to need the front bit of it. It's the same as this. Let's just measure. Okay, so I put it here that long. We start with cutting that off. So we have this bit. Now we need this bit. Extra cardboard here. It needs to be the same length. This long and this wide. Cut that out. Okay, let's see how they fit. Like that. A little bit too long I can see. But I trimmed that off really fast. Perfect. And as you can see there's a hole there. See there? So we need to make that hole first. Roughly about here. Let's use the toilet roll to measure. Good size, good size. We'll cut that out. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Next bit is this thing here and that's got to be as wide as the end of that triangle the triangle here this wide this tall cut that out okay so now we have this bit and as you can see there's a hole there roughly about here and roughly that size yeah let's cut that out too so now we have the three bits for this uh, base uh, here let's glue them together this part this one goes on here. A bit of tape, quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. <laughs> Falling apart here, oh. And this one with the hole, that side actually, that goes in the middle here. Just a bit of uh, glue on top of this one. Oh, nice, beautiful. And perhaps a bit on the edge here too. A bit more glue. Made it! Hey, look at that. Exactly the same except for this one at the top. Now we need to make the one at the top. It needs to be this wide and this tall. And as you can see, it's got a hole here. I gotta make that hole as well. Right, the same. We glue it on top uh, here. Okay, it's done. Except for the painting of the white, of course. We'll do that later. So we'll take them out, uh, take it out to dry now. Then we have the little uh, bridge. Now it's made out of uh, two layers of cardboard. You can see this two layers here to make it stronger. Basically what you do, you cut a uh, slim piece of cardboard roughly about this uh, slim, just uh, big enough for a hamster to balance across. But now this is too thin, you see, we don't want the, the, the bridge to, to, uh, to fall apart too fast. That's why I'm suggesting that we do two layers. Just adjusting this one a little bit. Okay, now a little bit of glue. Stick it on. Like that, squeeze a bit. And now this needs to dry. And then you have a nice um, bridge. 
The next one we're gonna make is the staircase and it's the same thing, it's a little bit broader, uh, two layers and then some across. So let's start with the two layers first. One layer, two layers, glue them together and then we need to make the steps across that we can use any old cutaway that we uh, have. We, you probably have by now quite a few of these cutaways, little strips of cardboard, stick them on, leave a little gap in between, fill it up so it becomes like this. So you see now, if the, uh, the hamster needs to go up uh, a level, these steps help the little feet to go up more easy. Okay, let's make the next one. And here's the next one. This is the top floor with the staircase. Basically, you take the, the other triangle that you just cut, you draw the staircase, and of course, you have to try to make it match uh, what's underneath. Mine is seven centimeter wide, and it's right here in the the middle and it's about 14 centimeter long. Then we cut three sides. We cut this side and this side. The last one is for folding. So you fold it down, try to fold according to the line. And then you have the, the, the stairs just like Last time you cut away, uh, you cut strips and then you glue them on here. Shall I show you a few? Okay, so we take this one. Nice steps. Okay, let's test. Oh, yes. Now it's ready to be painted. So it's just like this one. But let's make uh, the tube first. Now this is made from a kitchen roll that is a bit longer than the normal toilet rolls. I have cut it um, sort of a bit slanted at uh, one end. Now we need to do the, the hole at the top. I bring my marker back. You just draw roughly something about this size. Nice comfortable size for a hamster to go through. And then we cut. Nice and ready to be painted. Got some white acrylic paint here. Uh, let me just show you quickly. You may need to uh, paint this twice because one layer won't uh, cover enough. Paint once all over, let it dry, then paint it again. Okay, so that's that one. Then you have this top floor. Basically, you just paint everything except for the staircase like you see I've done here. The reason why I leave something unpainted uh, is uh, purely because I think it looks good. The white paint, the white surface against the brown surface just look really nice together because you can paint this and decorate your hamster maze any how you like with any colors you like. This is just my uh, proposal to you that you can use white to brighten up the inside interior. Look at that, nice white against brown. Oh, hey, same here. I have a bit of white, a bit of brown. Now that the stuff has uh, dried, you take the tape off and then you paint. Lovely with white against uh, the brown. So paint it twice. Same thing here. I guess I don't need to tell you. You take the tape off, you paint white wherever you want. Okay, let's pretend that I've done that uh, and this one is ready. Now remember your old friend, the white uh, big cheese and we uh, cut the two holes, the entrance and the exit uh, over here. In order to know where we're gonna cut uh, all the holes, we need to insert the interiors. We put this one inside there and this one inside here. And now we can see more clearly where the windows should be. So how about making one window right here? If we look at the outside, we can see that it should be roughly about, uh, you gotta see, okay, the floor is there. So roughly a bit above the floor, maybe about this big. You kind of check like this. You see inside, you see outside, inside, outside. to see that the window is a good, uh, uh, position according to the floor. So a little bit above the floor there. Let's see what happens when we cut that out. 
Okay, see, nice fit. See, now it's just a bit above the floor in here, just high enough uh, to sort of, um, to be a bit below the next floor. So here's one floor, here's one floor, and here's one floor. So right there in the middle. And then let's check out uh, more windows we can make. How about one over here? It's quite perfect to have a, a big window right there. Perfect window right uh here i'm trying to make the same line on the outside by looking in out in out i can quite accurately copy what's inside nice let's cut that out check it out see now the light is coming in and lighting up the hamster maze and making it a comfortable uh, place some some can be windows other can be more breathing holes and the breathing holes are small let's make uh, since we have a small room, very small room, we'll make a little breathing hole in here so that the hamster can get air. So let's make a breathing hole right there. Small so that the hamster can't uh, go through, yet big enough for air to go inside. Just nice, just nice. Then I turn it around. Let's make another uh, hole right here and a smaller one back here. That is so uh, that we let some light into the little uh, room uh, down in there. Also in a little uh, air into the room inside down here. Oh, beautiful. You see, now we can see into the room that is inside uh, here. And this is why it was important to make the interior bits first, because now we can see where the holes should go. If we didn't have these bits, we wouldn't know where is the right positioning of the, the window holes. Okay, next, we need to think about the holes for the next level too. Now we have covered this level really well. Now we need to cover this level. How about a generous hole up here on the second level, or the, sorry, the first level. Okay, let's cut it out. Yeah, ooh, beautiful. How about one at the back? Hey, right in between two floors. Nice, interesting. A bit on the top. Now that we have all the holes, let's see how the top floor works. Putting the staircase in this way on with the floor. Now, as you can see, there are big holes here where the hamsters can get out. Now, that's not so good. We need to cover them with, uh, you know, glass windows. That's where these things come in handy. Either these sort of clear plastic sheets that you can buy in uh, the store, the stationery store, or uh, you can just take old CD covers. You can take out the, the plastics. You can rip this apart. Come on, yeah, you take this off. From here, you can cut plastic for the way. Sometimes it fits perfectly because this now is gonna go on the, uh, on the other side. So let's take this out. This is gonna go on the back side, making nice windows. Sometimes they fit really well with the size like this. Other times you cut it in half or in bits so that they fit the uh, smaller bits. But before we put in the windows, we need to paint it. I have here orange paint, and that goes on the inside of the maze. Make sure there's no dust and cardboard stuff inside. Let's see, yeah, yeah, get all that out, get all that out. And then uh, we paint. I'm just gonna paint a little bit to show you here. You start usually at the floor, and then you sort of paint your way up the walls. And finally, the, the ceiling, which is the lid of the cheese. Now, the reason why I have chosen a um, bright orange is because to give it a bit of contrast to, uh, f uh, to, the, in to the outside. The outside will be a nice, uh, nice light yellow with lots of white in it. So that I like the inside to be a bit more uh, stronger color and a bit more exciting uh, 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 color so that... The contrast between the two will look really nice. Notice that after putting on one layer of color, it needs to dry, then you do another one. The reason for that is uh, one layer just won't do it. You know, it won't cover well. It won't cover well enough and the, and the paint won't be bright enough. That's why we always paint twice. 
So when you've done the inside and it's dry. So remember, it's got to be dry before you start the outside. Because if you put too much paint on the box at the same time, it will be soggy and it loses its beautiful cheese shape. Here is the right color, a nice light yellow. I'm just going to show you a little bit. Don't worry, my, my cheese won't lose its, lose its shape. Use a big brush, by the way, because this is a big... Uh, cheese. Now, as you go around, make sure you cover the. Um, you take a bit of paint and you cover the edge as well, like this. That'll make it look a lot nicer, and you won't see that kind of ugly, rough um, edge so much. Also, do the edge up here. But remember, if you have painted the edge up here and also the edge here, don't let the lid dry like this because then this can get stuck together. That's when you take another little brush, you put it like this so that it dries without touching. Then it won't stick together, you see? A bit on the top here. This paint also needs to dry after one layer and then uh, add uh, another layer. Okay, I think you uh, got the point. Now let me bring in one that is already painted. Oh, no, nice. look at this, yeah. See how nice and solid the color is. Beautiful holes, beautiful, uh, painted the underside. Time to fit all the pieces together. Are you ready? Oh, hey, uh, we'll open up, put in the and this way. Oh, perfect. And to do that, I, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. I need to take this out again. Stuff it in here. Then I, I insert uh, into uh, here, this hole here, they match there. Can you see that, how it fits in there? Yeah. Then we put in the uh, staircase. This time I'm going to put a bit of glue on it and a little bit on that side. See here how I put it in like that so it stays there. And then the bridge on the other side across here you can just put it like this. Just a tiny dab like this so that it stays. Okay time to put in the windows and I have here uh, few different sheets of these uh, CD covers. Let's start on the top here. Some glue, stick on the window, and then a smaller window over here. So a bit of glue on the corners. And then we continue like that for all the windows, basically. I wanna tell you something important. On some of the windows, make sure there is a gap like this. So stick on the window with a bit of a, a gap, like up here so that air goes through. Because your hamster needs air to breathe. Just make sure that the window is not so big that the hamster can go through it. Just, that's enough, that's enough. I'm using a bit of tape to uh, make sure that it sticks uh, while it dries. Just make sure that you take the tape off uh, when the glue is dry. Okay, now I've put in all the windows. Uh, time to remove the tapes. There. Now, are you ready to put all the bits together? Okay, let's do it. And then, before we add our um, second floor, we need to put in, oh yes, what do you think we need to put in here? Hamster litter! Everywhere you think the, uh, the hamster is going to pee, uh, it's good to have some litter, especially at the bottom of the box. Yeah, there. A bit inside the room, perhaps. A bit over here and over here. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Okay, goody. Now we can add the next floor. There we go. And onto here. I have made a little surprise. Look at this. I've cut some uh, openings in these toilet rolls. Stuck on a piece of cardboard. And you can then put this anywhere. So the hamster comes up here, runs through here. Maybe one, you can want to stick one over here. And then... We add the food. I have made some little food containers. You see, I've just cut a bit of uh, uh, toilet roll and stuck on a bit of cardboard here. I'll fill it up with some, um, some yummy carrot uh, bits. Let's say I can put it here. 
uh, our hamster will come up here, will go in, smell the food, come up through the, the ladder, up through this ladder, up onto this floor, and then find the food uh, over here. Put it at different places and make as many as you, you like. Now, where do you think the hamsters should enter the cheese? I think down here, here and here because that is so low that they can go from the ground and up. But they need um, a little tunnel, a little door, if you wish, to, uh, you know, for how to enter. So I have made, uh, taken two toilet rolls, uh, painted them orange and added on some uh, little rings like this out of cardboard. Uh, to lift them off the ground a bit so you can put them in here and you can put them in here like that see the hamster can Come in here go in through these rooms and then you can follow them through looking through the The, the windows. Oh hang on. I got an idea. Let's make some uh, enter and exit signs so that the hamsters know what to do uh, bring in a sheet of paper, a marker, and let's see. How about welcome, a nice welcome sign, okay, welcome. And one uh, saying, um, see you again, you know, see you. And two, let's see now. Okay, how do they fit? Bit too big. Cut them like this, let's see now. Yeah, almost there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, first welcome, and... See you later. Oh, it's beautiful. But you know what I realized? I realized that it would be even nicer if those rings were red. Because then you would have yellow, orange, red. And that's a nice combination. So I'm going to uh, paint them red as well. Bear with me, folks. We are almost ready with our hamster maze. But I really want to see them r beautiful and red. There. Beautiful. Let me take one last look inside to check that everything is cool. The carrots are here. Uh, the staircase is here. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I wish I was a hamster so I can play with this. Come on over here. It's playtime. Uncle Einstein's uh, play maze is uh, ready for you. Okay. Uh, do you want to see inside? Would you like to see what it's like inside? It's really nice. Okay, I'm going to go home now because my mother is waiting with dinner. But uh, you have a look inside and uh, happy uh, hamster to everybody. Mm -hmm.